that's where we're gonna make home tonight, I think. Me and Cruz are gonna go for a little bit of a walk. Uh, we drove around a bunch of these gravel roads down here and it looks like it's a big ATV area. All terrain vehicle, if you don't know what that is. Um, and I think a lot of times in the winter time, these become snowmobile trails. But uh, I was gonna poke my nose up the road here and it says stop. ATV is only up to a certain amount of weight beyond this point. So we're gonna go for a little walk down that road. Curious. There's the sign I seen. Designated ATV trail. Travel restricted within 10 meters of route and under 750 kilograms. My van <laughs> is definitely a lot more than 750 kilograms. So, I think between me and him, we should be underneath that weight limit. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> No way. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Oh, oh, we're on a bridge. <laughs> wow. Hey, Cruzy, we're on a bridge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just took a look at the last shot and this wide angle lens really makes me look skinny. I really like it. <laughs> it does me very, very well. It's crazy to know that we were the only ones out here. We barely see any traffic on the highway. There's no houses around here. Well, there's one up the street, but I doubt anybody's in it. It's just us. Cruzy bear, and probably lots of real bears, and moose. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Our van's about 10 minutes behind us here. Not to block. Listen to him. There's no way we are sneaking up on anybody. <laughs> Somebody's a little tired. Oh. Hi. I can't find you on camera. There you are. Hi. Hi, buddy. I got something for you, okay? You stay there. Okay, you stay there. I don't know if they eat that stuff, but it's seeds. They're a little chipmunk. That's what they would eat, right? I got a bag of bird seed in my van, so. I got you something, buddy. There he is up there. Hey. Hey, buddy. Come on, focus. Hi, buddy. I'm gonna leave you a whole stack of seeds here, okay? I'm gonna leave you a whole bunch. If you don't get them, the birds will get them, all right? All right, so here we go again with the cast iron pans, getting this one as smoking hot as we can. We're gonna to attempt to make cinnamon buns. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go, but here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Two cinnamon buns on the pan. And we're just gonna flip the hot one over top. Just like that, boom. So I think I'm gonna leave the bottom heat on there for maybe maybe another minute, and then we're gonna leave it alone. All you can smell over here is cinnamon buns being made in the van, and that is something I've never smelt around my van ever. I'm excited to see how this very first time experiment works out. Hopefully they're edible and we can do it without burning them. I don't mind if I have to reheat the pans again just to get it a little bit farther in, but that's where it would be nice to have a fire outside where I could take some hot coals, stick it on top of those things and actually create a Dutch oven. So while I'm sitting out here, I was fiddling around in the van going, hey, you know what? 
I got some things in my van here that some of you guys may not think about adding to your van that are really simple things to pick up and uh, they're gonna come in handy. This will also spark a conversation about a few things that I need to add to my van because when you're way out here in the back country, you just wanna make sure that you've got everything that you need to, um, well, to get out of here for one <laughs> and for two, survive. So first off, this is a fairly new addition to my life. I've shown you guys this before, but having a can of bear spray or any other kind of animal deterrent. I know my friend Joseph uses this, um, this gun thing. It looks like a flare gun, but it just shoots off a loud bang. Um, he prefers to use that than this because you could um, scare them away at a farther distance than having, having them be within 25 feet of you, which is probably not good at that point. But um, having a can of something for animal deterrent is great or whatever you choose to use, that's completely up to you. Um, something that has been in my van for a while that you guys have not seen is a first aid kit. Yes, I know it is out of a Mercedes Benz. It's actually out of a Mercedes Sprinter. So inside of here is pretty much got everything you would ever need. This is a kit actually from Mercedes itself. Um, I had uh, friends of ours um, give this to me. Um, but keeping a first aid kit with band-aids and stuff like that is always great because if you're anything like me and uh, you pull a knife out of your pocket, like down here, and you do something stupid and you cut yourself with it, it's always good to have a first aid kit. Uh, so next up on the list is to have one good little small knife for everything that you may need. Um, I usually keep one on hand when I'm out here in the back country. I bought this from Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops. Um, it's actually pretty great. It's nice and sharp. It's small enough that you can open up a beer can with <laughs> and or do anything small you need. I actually use this knife here as my kitchen knife primarily, right? How weird is that? Most people would just use a kitchen knife. I a lot of times just grab for this one because it's readily available and it's always always around so yeah and it came with a nice little case but i bought that at cabela's or bass pro shops and uh something someone's asked me about before <sighs> this looks awkward doesn't it <laughs> what are you doing crow what are you doing okay so in my pocket is this thing i have no idea what this thing is it came with the knife in a little package i don't know what it is but I use this thing all the time. I've left it on my keys, but I use it for opening up beer cans. And it's got a bottle opener on it, right right there on the top. But yeah, this thing was kind of super convenient. And then when the whole COVID thing started, I used this as the hook to open door handles. <laughs> it, was my, it was my COVID hook, but it came with a knife, kind of cool. But a really good quality knife, and I don't care if you're in the wilderness or not, having a good knife just comes in handy all around for, for those moments that you may need it. Plus, if you're into having a piece of security, this will definitely help for sure. And it's small and compact. This one here, I picked up at Costco um, in a three pack, and I ended up giving another van dweller one of these because they were having some mechanical problems in a parking lot. And I was watching them fiddle around with a cell phone. I'm like, guys, look you need to get a little head strap light, right? So it's got a couple different different lights on it. Anyway, just straps on your head. We're not gonna get into that, but it doesn't sit like that. It actually straps right around your forehead. But it's great for when you're like underneath the van and you need to like look at something or you need your hands free, but yet you need a light. Um, these things come in super handy. You can buy these on Amazon. This one's from Duracell. I bought it at Costco, but always good to have. Um, I've used this multiple times on my journey. I have two of them, one that I keep in the front of my van and one that's in the back in a, in a miscellaneous uh, storage bin of mine. So not only do you have a first aid kit, then you need a thirst aid kit. So having a thirst aid kit in your van is 100% necessary. How awesome is this thing? So because having extra beer is always a great idea. So first aid and thirst aid, yeah, always keep extra beer in your van because um, everybody needs a thirst aid kit. Um, this one here is going to spark uh, another purchase of mine. So I have this spare tire, re sorry, I have this tire repair kit. 
So if you were to get a nail in your in your tire, you could pull the nail out, file out the inside of this thing, and then ram one of those rubber things through it, just like they do it when you take your van into the tire shop. This is exactly what they do. There's no other thing that they're doing different than using one of these, and they're charging you 50 bucks for the, for the flat repair. So you could do this on the side of the street on your own, but you do need an air compressor. So that brings up another thing for me. I'm thinking about adding an air compressor in my van because now I have the larger, chunkier tires. When you get into an off-road position, sometimes it'd be nice to, to deflate some of the air in the tire just to get me a little bit more traction on some different kind of terrains. So I found one by ARB and it's been like the highly recommended one from just about everybody I've talked to so far that I know that's into off-road stuff. So ARB makes a little one, they're about 400 bucks and uh, I can mount it in the van and I could use it if I were to ever get a flat tire. I just plug it into that, it runs on 12 volt and I can pump up all of my tires. I think it goes up to 150 PSI or something like that. So they're pretty damn great. But having one of these as a repair kit in your van is so damn important. But get a way to pump up your tires. I'm working on that, it's coming. Um. Because of all this COVID stuff going on, you need a way to very cheaply sanitize your hands. And because the cost of, because the cost of um, hand sanitizer is so expensive, it's just cheaper to buy yourself a bottle of tequila. And that's the truth. Alcohol will kill germs. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that is 100% true, but I'm pretty pretty much sure it's true. But. Uh, I'm, Whatever, you don't need to keep the keel in your van. I just do. Um, and this one might be a silly one. This is a ginormous dog leash. It's 25 feet long and comes in handy every time you decide to pull into a campground because you're not allowed to have your dogs off leash at a campground. So keep yourself one of these in your van because then if you ever get in that scenario, you can just lock the dog up and he has a 25 foot radius around your vehicle or wherever you strap them up to, to roam around. So he can actually be, have a bit of freedom at the campsite where otherwise he'd be on a short little leash and tethered to your van, which really kind of sucks. So when I first bought this, I was unsure about it, but I've used it every single time we go to a park or somewhere where it says dogs must be on leash. And I don't feel like holding Cruzy's little tiny leash all the time. So anyway, guys, um, I know there's a million more things I could throw in here, like um, jumper cables and all that other stuff. But hey, you know what? I was fiddling around in my van and I seen some of these things. I thought, you know what? Maybe it might be a great idea to talk to you guys about having a first aid kit <sighs> and a thirst aid kit in your van. <laughs> um, you could make a nitpicked list a mile long of things that are necessary that you need in your van life. So because I don't plan out my videos, I don't sit here and say, okay, well, let's make an entire list of everything that they need inside of their van. Maybe that might be a good idea one day, but I'm not about to do that right now because my videos are fly by the seat of my pants. That's why you notice sometimes I have information in videos and then sometimes I have a partial vlog, partial information. Sometimes it's an all vlog, depending on what I'm feeling that day. Um, but anyway, you guys, um, if you guys are in van life or can think about anything that other van lifers may need, leave them in the, in the comments of this video because your suggestions can help out a lot of other people because I'm no expert in this because like I always say, van life is just an experiment and don't take, don't take truthful information from a guy who says that you need a thirst aid kit in your van. So if you agree that you need a thirst aid kit, <laughs> hit the thumbs up. And or if you agree that tequila, even including a good damn bottle of Don Julio, is cheaper than buying hand sanitizer nowadays, because it is. If you see the cost of hand sanitizer, it's ridiculous. It's cheaper to buy yourself a bottle of Don Julio and just pour that all over your hands. All right, you guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of a little bit of our uh, adventures into the Northern Rockies here in British Columbia, Canada. Hi, Cruz. Cruz is coming to say bye. You come and say bye. Come here, buddy. <laughs> come here, buddy. My cozy bear. Hi. Oh, are you coming over here? Tell everybody, don't forget, you need yourself a little cruisy bear in your van because van life's not the same without a little cruisy bear. Hmm? Hey. Mwah. I love you, pal.
I love you, buddy. Crazy. I said I love you, bro. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Hold on. Whoa. We got to go check on those cinnamon buns. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my gosh. It smells so good. So good. Man, it's crazy to smell these things when you're way out in the woods like this. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. It's been in here, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It has been on here now for probably around 15 minutes. And that's not very hot anymore. Oh, damn. Say what? There's no way those are perfect. There is no way this just really happened inside of my van. Wow. Super stoked with that cast iron skillet, man. Go, okay, I gotta get on, in on this stuff, man. Look at that, look at that. All right, guys. Like any good cinnamon bun, it's already dripping. Look at it. Look at that. Perfect. I can't get over how perfect this thing cooked. My very first try. Oh my gosh, it's so. So let's add that one to your list. If you guys want to gain 1,000 pounds, continue to do what I do. Get a cast iron pan and a skillet or a Dutch oven or something like that and buy these things. Or if you want to make them from scratch and you're crazy like that, I'm not like that. I don't have the patience nor the skill to make this pipe from scratch. but. These are just damn. Oh. Oh. And I'm in the back country with no cell reception. And these things are coming out of my van kitchen. If I can do it, you guys can do this stuff 10 times better. Thanks for watching, you guys.